Okay, so I'm going to say right now that the difficulty of this is going to be the fact that there are quite a lot of sharps in here. Um, however, I just, because of the key that it's in, I just didn't want to take it out of those sharps and put it into another key. Because there are four sharps in this piece the way Adele has written it, it gives it a certain kind of sound. Um, and it, it create, I, I think if you change key, it starts to go a bit dull, a bit, a bit flat, and it just doesn't sound quite right. So I've kept it the same. So I apologize for all the black notes in there, but hopefully most of you will appreciate the fact that I have kept it original to the same key that Adele sings it in. So let's get started with the right hand. That's pretty much the introduction. It's gonna be an E, a D sharp, a C sharp, a B, and a C sharp. At the same time in the left hand, I'm going to say it again, as I say in every single video, I'm going to do octaves, always do octaves where possible because, let's say it together, it thickens it all out. If you don't want to do the octaves or you're restricted by the amount of room that you have on your keyboard or your piano or whatever, you can just do the single notes. I'm always going to do the octave as per usual, as you, you know the drill by now. So... So in the right hand, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp. In the left hand, C sharp, B, A, G sharp, back to C sharp. So in actual fact, it would be. And they're both hitting C sharps. So that's, that, that's what it looks like around here. Again, if I do the octave, my little finger might go off frame a little bit, but you can still see what my thumb's doing. Whatever my thumb is doing, my little finger is doing as well, because you know I'm doing it in octave, so. Okay, that's the introduction. So with the right hand, I think I'm just gonna go through the melody first. So we start with the G sharp to C sharp. Remember, most of this is gonna be sitting on the black notes. So hopefully I played that slow enough for you to either write down the notes or you know follow enough what I'm doing. Don't forget you can stop and start this video in the cog on the bottom right hand corner of this video where I'm kind of roughly pointing here. You can actually slow it down. I don't think you're going to get any sound but you can at least see the notes that I'm pressing there and hopefully I'm making them clear enough for you. So... <laughs> Right, with the left hand, this is where the left hand gets a little bit complicated, but I wanted to keep the kind of, I wanted to keep the feeling of movement going along, along with this. So, for those of you that you can manage this, do this. If not, I'll give you another alternative. I'll write these notes for the left hand that I'm doing in the description underneath uh, at the time of going to airing, if I've actually forgotten to do that. If someone can just remind me and I'll, I'll put them in for you. So. We're going to be doing F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp. Then we're going to be going to D sharp to B. And then we're going to be going an E to B. And then we're going to be going A to E. So you can see I'm kind of doing it twice. D sharp to B. To B, A to E. Okay, so that was the first section. The next bit, F sharp to C sharp, and then A flat to E flat, or if you want to think of it as G sharp to D sharp, doesn't really matter particularly. And then C sharp to G sharp. That's what we're going to be doing in the left hand. So we've just done, sorry.
that starts again. So I'm not really sure of an easy way to basically just explain this all through for you, apart from the fact that I think if I just do it slow enough, you should be able to just stop and start the video and, and things like that and, and go with it that way. If you can't manage those notes in the left hand, instead of doing that, you just play the block notes. So. up to you how you want to how you want to do this this still sounds quite nice just want to point out before anybody decides to write in the comments I'm only doing fingering this way so that you can see very clearly if sometimes if I start doing the fingering the way I would normally do them my fingers and my hands get caught up around the keys you guys can't see what I'm doing so please don't take the fingering I'm using as gospel I'm only showing for demonstration purposes so I, I wouldn't play Basically, if you want to see what fingerings I would really use, go back to the beginning of this video and you'll see the full demonstration and you'll be able to see the fingerings that I use. So the fingerings I'm doing here, yes, they're not always correct, but if I do them correctly, everything gets muddled up. You guys can't see the notes I'm playing and then the whole tutorial becomes pointless. So I just wanted to mention that before anybody decided to put anything about that in the comments. So the next bit where you've got the instrumental bit... Um So in the right hand, C sharp, D sharp, E, G sharp, F, E, D sharp, C sharp, G, A, G, F sharp, G, and then this is where it would start again. In the left hand, so we've just finished on a, a, a C sharp and G sharp anyway. And then we're going to go down to a B, keep that G sharp, and then an A, keep that G sharp back up to the C sharp. So that's all we're doing. And then we want two A flats. And then everything just starts again up the top exactly as we've just done. So my left hand, everything's just gone up. sharp f sharp g sharp f sharp e f sharp g sharp if you want to just put a little a little something in there just to give it a little bit more excitement um so that's pretty much it that is just literally a repeat of this of this section here but i can just play it to you again I'm just going to cut that bit out to finish it. Do what you did at the start. Remember when we did the... So you can do the octaves. It's completely up to you. I didn't just because I was going so high at the top here, but that's completely up to you. So there we go. I'm sorry about all the uh, dancing a lot on the black notes and things, but again, I just wanted to keep it the same as the Adele. As always, if you feel like you want to change anything, um, go ahead and do that. There's no sheet music to these tutorials. Yes, sheet music is available, but you have to go onto YouTube, find, uh, sorry, go onto Google, find it, purchase it. If you want to play from that, the sheet music, go ahead and do that. If not, this is where this tutorial comes in. If you want to change anything, 
go ahead and do that. Uh, you know, this is just my interpretation with no sheet music for anyone that just wants to have a go at playing this. So thank you for watching. More where this comes from in the in the playlist directly underneath this video, which I will link to. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.